Good morning. Yes, it's raining today, but the trail is amazingly beautiful with these mountain laurel and it's going straight up, so I'm breathing heavy. But the good news is we're slack packing the 10 miles today back to the quarter way in and we have a dry place to be and a hot shower waiting for us which is amazing. And like I said, I will show you the interior. It's beautiful, beautiful inn. Um, it's a hostel, but uh, it's called an inn because that's cool. Anyway, we hope to blast through these 10 miles so that we can get back and relax in comfort. All right, we've been hiking about four and a half miles in the rain, and we stopped at a shelter for some food and to just sit for a minute. Um, we have another 4.6 to go, so uh, it's going to be a good day, but um, we were kind of trail running down the hill because it's fun, and of course I took a stumble, so my legs are, I don't know if you can see that. Pretty beat up. Anyway, I don't care because I have a shower to go back to after our hike today. And I can clean up and assess the damage then. Anyway, have a good one. Okay, I finally got the video to work. It has been so rainy. It's raining right now, but just lightly. And I haven't been able to use my phone because everything's been so wet. The screen's been wet, my hand has been wet but we are finishing, we're on the last like half mile of a 10 mile hike and we're in this cow pasture and it's crazy pretty. And you see how high, that, the grass is waist high. They're probably gonna mow it soon for hay, but here's the trail. There's Adam up there, you can see him. And we are soaked to the bone, but it's okay because it's not freezing cold. So, and plus we get to dry off when we get back. If we had to set up tent and all that, it'd be a different story because there's nothing, no way to get dry, you know? And and warm, you can get in your sleeping bag, but everything gets wet. So having the quarter way in to go to is freaking amazing. And Tina is awesome. And we got to meet the guy who did the hiker yearbook for years and years. He's just handed it over to the Appalachian Trail Conservancy. Um, he stopped in and we got a picture with Adam, which is so cool. And Adam got a picture of him years ago when he was hiking the AT um, in Rangeley, like near the Pine Tree Frosty. So I will see if I can get that picture to show you as well. It's so funny. So I'm trying to avoid the cow leftovers, let's just say. Oh, there's a big one. Um, anyway, today was a great day. I, I usually don't like hiking in the rain, but when I can go back and get dry, 10 miles in the rain is nothing. And we had some elevation today, a couple thousand feet, probably about two or 3,000, um, but none of it was too bad. But then again, I think having our trail legs, having a renewed attitude, getting cortisone shots, all of those things help. Here we go. So I will catch up with you at the inn, at the hostel, and when I am dry and showered. All right. Thanks for coming along. We are at the quarterway in, and this is the mud room where you can put all your shoes and your gear and how you enter. And you are welcomed right here. Beautiful entry. And there are loner socks to have put on your dry feet. Now, if you walk this way, there's the kitchen for the hikers. Adam's eating his second pizza. How is it, Adam? It's the third one. Oh, third, but second today. Oh, yeah. Second today. He hasn't showered yet. I have. Um, 
some of the baked popcorn and there's items for sale in the refrigerator like ice creams and sodas and different chocolate milk, things like that. All of this is for use of the hikers. This is a nice resupply. As you can see, so many great things. Tina, who runs the place, hiked a few years ago and really knows what we hikers need. And as you know, we ran out of fuel. She had fuel, which is so awesome. And right here is a map of the Appalachian Trail, which is kind of cool. All right, now if we go out of the kitchen, there's another little area here and that's my water on the table. Look at all the games. There's no internet here. So if you're here early and want to relax, you can do puzzles and games. Here is a nice living room and I sat there put my feet up and iced my knees yesterday. I'll do that again. This is the actual front door of the house, but the hikers come in the mudroom area, obviously. <clears throat> and here's another area with a TV and a VHS player. Oh yeah, we may have watched Monsters Incorporated because why not? So this is the downstairs and it circles around and right there is the bowl of socks. Now I will take you upstairs. This is an older house that has been redone. And you can tell by the banister and the staircase, it's original and lovely. And as you go up the stairs, there's the Appalachian Trail, which is so cool. It's so hiker friendly. So now we are upstairs and there's an Andrew Wyeth print, one of my favorite artists. Now we're upstairs. You know where that is. It's a great bathroom. Good um, shower. Here's the drawers with the loner clothes. We have smallish, mediumish, largish, extra largish. And these are hiker boxes of things that people can take and leave. I left the mostly empty fuel canister. Some people like that. Here's the bunk room where people can sleep. And back there is a semi-private single. And to the left is a two-person semi-private room. And it's beautiful.